it, this thing was honestly i'm not kidding it was like this big it was enormous if a toad went to the gym it would be this guy I belong, I belong to you. Good morning, hello, welcome back to another weekly vlog. It is Wednesday today, happy hump day. I didn't end up weekly vlogging last week because I was just getting sorted with all of this early bird stuff. Black Friday was a little bit hectic and honestly I just kind of needed a little bit of a break from the weekly vlog. And it was a little bit unintentional because it got to like Wednesday afternoon and I was like I haven't filmed anything yet so I just decided I'm just gonna take the week off. Even though it is Wednesday today, I did get my period on Monday and it hit me like a ton of bricks. I just was like I, I've got my period and I don't want to do anything. So yesterday I literally did nothing. Very rare for me that I just sit and do nothing. It's actually kind of hard because I get so bored, but I really wanted to make sure I took the time to rest. I actually just watched the, um, the Watcher. I have one more episode that I need to finish. I am so bad at getting to the very end of TV shows and not watching the last episode and I need to because I need to figure out how it ends. I'm still on my running grind. I actually went for my first 10k run this morning, which is so insane. Like the way I felt yesterday, just feeling so like, uh, there's no way I'm going for a run. Like absolutely not. I'm not doing any exercise. I'm just going to sit and rest. And then I get up today and I go for a 10k. Like what? Hello? Am I not paying attention to you? I do think I want to make more of a dedicated video about my running journey. Even though it's very, very new, I am just like so... Hi, why are you so cute? Once I'm a little bit more into my running journey, because I only started running... When did I... It hasn't been long at all. On the 8th of November and it's the 23rd now. So I can hardly say that I've been on a running journey. But even from that first run to where I am now, the improvement is insane. Or just more so my knowledge of how to run has improved. Therefore, it's made my running journey easier. I've definitely learned tips from people on TikTok and YouTube and people I follow. And it definitely makes a huge difference. Huge! Because the way you run actually really influences you run. I didn't intend on going for 10k. I kind of thought, oh, let's try and do eight. I went really, really slowly, which is one of the tips that pretty much every single person recommends to go slow. The slower you go, the further you can go. Um, so I was going really slow, really easy, just kind of like cruising along. And I got to that 8k mark and I thought, let's just Let's just try 10. The last two kilometers, my legs were definitely a little bit sore. But in terms of my like aerobic, my breathing and stuff, I was really, really fine. I got home. I wasn't puffed. I could probably have like a conversation. And that's the thing that I've always struggled with with running is I get gassed way too quickly. I get way too puffed. And that's because I've always gone like way too fast. As soon as it hit the 10k mark, I was like, oh my God. If I told myself a month ago, like you'd be able to run 10 kilometers without stopping, pretty much. I did walk a little bit, not gonna lie, like up a few hills. I was like, I don't want to gas myself. For the most part, I did run the whole thing. If you told me that like a month ago, I would have been like, heck no. Heck no. For me, I thought running five kilometers was such a goal and it is such a goal and I'm super proud of myself, but I'm just like, wow. Imagine what I'm gonna be in like in a month's time or in six months time. I'm just so excited and it's so rewarding. And obviously I'm still going to the gym. I'm still lifting weights, um, which I still love. I love that I'm gonna have a combination of the two just cause it makes me feel like an overall athlete. <laughs> even though I'm not at all. There's just something about running that just like fulfills a part of me that exists, that like athlete, that sport, that type of person. And I really, really like that. As a kid growing up, I've always loved sports. So it just, it fulfills that part and it's really enjoyable. It's really, really nice. And I can't think about anything else when I wanna run. I'm also just thinking like, I don't even know what I'm thinking about. Half the time I'm thinking like, oh my God, this is really easy. Like, this is great. I'm like, wow. Very, very proud of myself. I did it in an hour and 15, hour and 16, which is slow, but we're base building. Is that what it's called? <laughs> That's my little um, accomplishment for the day. Did I tell you I jumped off a meeting with my manager? I'm not sure. We are kind of just like working out dates, trying to figure out like what times I'm going to have like a proper break. I also think I've decided, I think I am going to vlog over Christmas or vlog when I feel, but I'm not gonna upload or edit anything until a certain date because the filming part is fun. I love the filming. The filming is not the part about vlogging that's difficult, it's the editing. <laughs> also, you guys have gone absolutely bonkers for our Espresso Yourself mugs, which Elise came up with that name and I was like, that's cool. Coming up with names for products is kind of hard. I'm not the most creative person when it comes to names. Don't ask me how I came up with Early Bird Society because it took 
ages. We finally have a launch date for the mugs. They're going to launch on the 1st of December at 6pm Australian Eastern Standard Time. Also do keep in mind that this is a limited first drop. We do have limited stock. So if you do miss out on this first round, we should be restocking if everything goes to plan. But yeah, I just, I've, there's been so many people interested in them and I don't want people to get upset if you do miss out. If you do want a set, make sure you're at the website because I have a feeling they're going to sell out. I'm honestly not surprised that so many people were interested because they're so cute. Make sure you follow the early bird Instagram so you can stay up to date with what's going on. Um, but yeah, I might just have an early lunch because I'm hungry. Okay, I'm about to jump in the shower and I'm in two minds about washing my hair because it is like super, super oily and I'm probably going to go for a run tomorrow morning so it's just going to get oily but I'm like super in the mood to just wash my hair and feel really clean. So I think I might do that just because I feel like we could do with a little bit of a midweek pamper sesh. I also painted my nails and then I peeled off the, the nail polish already. I've had like a really bad flare up with picking the skin around my nails. I've mentioned this before, but it's such a bad habit and I've had it my entire life. So probably just because last week I was a little bit stressed. So I just went ham on my nails. Um, so I think it's time to get acrylics or start doing them myself again because it actually stops me from doing it. But I do enjoy like having nails off, but then I pick my skin. You know, it's just one of those things. I'm not gonna tint my eyebrows or anything because I did that the other week. My skin had a bit of a breakout last week, but it's definitely on the mend. And I'm gonna use my Luxamax today. Good morning, happy Thursday. Let's get ready to go on a run. I definitely prefer to wear longer shorts, like cycling shorts. Almost like the opposite of when you get the Gymshark shorts like this and you hack them up. I almost just leave them down just so I kind of avoid chafing. But I am gonna get some, I believe it's called Body Glide, which is just like a chafing stick or whatever. Hello, what you doing? She says, good morning. I don't really like wearing leggings because it just gets too, too hot too quickly. I think until I get my hands on this like chafe stick thing, then I might wear longer things, but just because I've got thicker thighs. Even though these aren't my favorite way to wear the shorts, they're a lot more um, comfortable. And then I'm just gonna check on my Stacks sports bra. And I definitely prefer running without a shirt because I get like so hot. I might feel differently in winter. And then these are my shoes. They are Asics. It's so funny how before when I would go for like my first few runs, I was really like scared because I had a fear of running, which I don't really anymore. Whereas now I'm like kind of excited in a way. I just really, really enjoy it. And it's just like such a good way to clear your head. Not that the gym isn't. And obviously like I still am going to the gym and everything, but I'm just like excited because it's something new. I definitely should have gone on this run about an hour ago. See, this outfit would look so cool if I had like black runners and black socks. Um, So you can see how the shorts like, so yeah, I like how the shorts are a little bit longer so when I run they don't check. I think I am gonna wear a hat today because it just keeps my hair out of my face even though it does make my hair a little bit sweatier. It's just worth it. Um, I'm gonna have one of these Milo bars as like a pre-workout snack. They're just like the original ones. I've had a coffee this morning and like those cheese things but I can feel myself. I will be really hungry if I don't have this. I'm just going to have a bit of pre-workout because I feel like I could do with that. This is the running fit. Who would have thought? Not me. Run. That was my fastest 
split yet. Um, I did 5.8 kilometers, but I kind of just like aimed to hit five. And my average pace was six minutes, 48 seconds per kilometer, which is the fastest that I've ever done. Usually my pace is around seven minutes or when I did my big run yesterday, it was about seven and a half minutes per kilometer. So that's really cool that I did that without feeling like I'm gonna pass out, like really, really exerting myself. So, and I did that in 40 minutes. So definitely improving like every single time, which is super exciting. Um, and my heart rate was 166, which could be lower or my average heart rate. Yeah, most of that, it was like 153, 165, 168, 170, 174. It always goes up at the end, I suppose. But anyway, I'm literally like sweating off my tan a bit. Like it's, that's gross. Um, so I'm going to jump in the shower. Another run done. I can't believe I'm actually running. Like <sighs> little old Connor a month ago <laughs> would have been like, no. Oh, I'm so sweaty though. It has been so long since I've had my pancakes for breakfast. So I've decided to make some. If you are new here, I used to eat this every single day for over a year without fail because it is the best ah, pancake recipe ever. I have a highlight on my Instagram. It's probably deep in my highlight section. Oh, what's that? Oh my God. Yum, I use the Naked Harvest like banana flavored greens. to do a bit of editing. I don't know how long I was there for. I always leave at the point that I need to pee. I'm gonna make my lunch, but I'm also gonna make a snack while I make my lunch. There was the biggest toad I've ever seen in my life on the deck this morning. When I got up, it was just chilling, like smack bang in the middle of the deck. If you don't know what a cane toad is, I'll put a picture on the screen. Um, they're so gross. And they're, they're regarded as a pest in Australia. I don't know, are they in all states? They're not the same as like a frog. They're poisonous to dogs, so I didn't let Charlie outside. And you gotta be really careful with the dogs and toads around like the summer. This thing was, honestly, I'm not kidding, it was like this big. It was enormous. So I, Elise and I were like, oh my God, what do we do? We managed to remove the toad. We didn't kill the toad. We just kind of moved it from the deck. I wish I could have shown you a video of this thing. It was so big. It was like the size, it was huge. Oh, he's moving. Fuck. I'm gonna. <laughs> if a toad went to the gym, it would be this guy. Oh, anyway. Um, I also bought some squeezy Vegemite and it's the greatest thing ever because you can squeeze it on like how good! I love that. <laughs> I'm just putting some Vegemite and then I'm gonna chuck some avocado on there. 12 o'clock? It's nearly one o'clock actually. Just submitting a bit of content for approval. I've just been getting like dates sorted and stuff for the new year, the end of the year, because things are so busy, but I also want to make sure that I'm like having an adequate break in there somewhere because otherwise I will just, I will have a nervous breakout at some point. There are so many amazing opportunities that I get, but I just want to make sure that I'm not biting off more than I can chew, that I'm not compromising my own mental health. I also have a birthday I'm going to this weekend, which I will kind of get dolled up for, which will be really fun. I'm going to wear this green white fox dress. I'm not sure whether I should like wear my hair down or do it up. I never really like do my hair up when I go out because I always think I can always have it up whenever I want, like in the day to day, but having it down and curled and looking all nice is a rarity. But sometimes having it up does look nice too. I don't know. We'll see. I might do a TikTok and try and get your feedback like live. <laughs> we'll see. Are you young wild girls? You make a mess of me. Good morning. Happy Friday. I was gonna say Wednesday. It is hot today, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna head to the shops because I wanna get a couple of things from the chemist. Maybe do a little bit of Christmas shopping. Oh my god, today is Black Friday. Like today is the day, is it? Yeah. Like I mentioned before, I have a birthday tomorrow and I don't have any nails on and I don't really wanna like do the process of making the nails. So I'm thinking like maybe I could go to Chemist Warehouse and buy some of the stick on ones and see if I can make them a little bit better. Am I sunburned? I don't know. These are the nails they have in it. 
I kind of hate them. I'm trying to like convince myself that some of them are cute, but I don't think that's the case. Um, but I don't, I think Kmart have some, but I'm not really keen on going all the way there. They're not too bad. Chemist Warehouse is honestly my kryptonite. I picked up just some body moisturizer just for my tan in the nighttime because I need to start moisturizing like every single night and every single morning because it just like prolongs your tan so much better. So I got this one. I got some soft hair ties because I think these will be a bit more gentle on my hair. I got two black scrunchies because someone steals these and rips them apart. I'm talking to you. Missy, I honestly hate using hair ties. I feel like they're just so harsh on my hair. And yeah, my scrunchies have just slowly vanished because Charlie takes them. So these were like $3, I think. They're just nice. Comfy ones. These types of hair ties remind me of like school. These probably aren't the strongest, but they'll be nice and comfy. Okay, and then these are the nails that I picked up. I got these two. Now, bear, hello, I'm not in focus app. I feel like these could kind of be cute because um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a top coat to them to make them look more like they're acrylic and not just I think these were like two dollars fifty or something crazy. I mean that is kind of cool I don't mind the whole like chrome aspect of that. We'll see how we go. Is it gonna go with my outfit? Probably not or the safe bet we have these like pretty little nude nails. I'm kind of leaning towards the chrome. Oh, but these are kind of cute though. Oh my god My hair is so oily. I'm just gonna pop it up why am I not in focus? Hello? I feel like you will all want me to do these ones. That fits my nail really well. Um, I don't care what they say. I'm in love with you. I'm gonna do the pink. I don't care. Let me just pick out my sizes. Okay, I have selected the nails. See, they're kind of cute if it'll focus. I'm probably gonna have to trim some of them or like file. Let's see. Okay, I glued them on. The only thing I don't like about them is how they like curve down on the side because they are like that stiletto shape. But I'm gonna put the top coat on and I'll see if I like them or not. I like them from the front. I just don't like how they, they like do that, you know? <laughs> Okay, I'm like four kilometers in and I'm walking. Damn, I'm really like not feeling it today. I don't know what's up. Like today is the first run where I've been like, I don't like this, which is totally fine. But I'm kind of annoyed because I was really looking forward to it. So, but I got to remember like not every run is going to be absolutely phenomenal. Just like how, you know, every single workout's not always great. This is very TMI, but I really need to go to the toilet. And I think that is influencing how I feel. Um, but I did go to the toilet beforehand and everything because there was this one run the other week where I felt like I was going to shit myself. Did I tell you this? So I'm always making sure to go to the toilet beforehand, which I did. But um, I think running just really like helps things along. I went, I went to use a public toilet, but it was locked because it's like 6.26 a.m. So I don't know if there was someone in there, but I'm just, oh, lorikeets. Oh, they're so pretty. I don't know if anyone else does this, but whenever I have some sort of event, I will always just like pick my face. And then I end up with more problems on my face. I never showed you the end result for my nails. I actually feel like these look pretty good. Obviously, I ended up taking off the pink ones because whenever I put the top coat on top, it kept like separating. It was so weird. So I ended up going with these, which I actually think these look pretty darn nice. I ended up doing two coats of the top coat. Obviously they're not perfect and the skin around my nails is always atrocious, but anyway. I've washed my hair and it's air dried slightly and look how much my um, like roots have grown out. I'm gonna try and attempt to do rollers, but I'm also like, is that a terrible idea? I've watched a couple tutorials, so I feel like I have kind of an idea about how to do it. I just don't know if doing it on wet hair is gonna make my life harder. I'm gonna use the Color Wow Dream Coat in my hair. And you really want to apply a really good amount. Ooh, 
I should do a TikTok transition. Can you tell how long that transition took me? Because my hair's like dried more. <laughs> how do people do this? They like wet my hair a bit. <laughs> I'm just like dropping all my hair. Jelly. How far is this supposed to go back? Oh. <laughs> I also saw someone say in a video like if you don't have layers then this doesn't like turn out as good. <sighs> Honestly, I don't even know what I'm hoping for at this point. Let me just spray her. Nice. Wow, I really need to get my hair done, hey? I mean, my top layers are definitely shorter than the bottom. There's pain in the struggle And there's beauty in the pain So if love is a struggle I guess there's beauty in everything There's peace in a heartbreak And there's fire in the rain So if everything means nothing these days, baby the biggest around. I started out doing the whole like blow dry then putting the rollers in but it just kept being like super super messy like this actually looks pretty neat and tidy but then I got pissed off so I took out the rollers and the top pieces actually looked quite nice so I ended up just like blow drying my hair a bit using my curler to curl my hair and then put the rollers in just because it's it's already dry hair and a little bit easier but this has taken me so long that it's now nearly 11 a.m and I need to get a move on. What I'm gonna do is put on some primer and I feel like because it is so hot today I'm I'm gonna end up putting my hair up anyway <laughs> so i just put some moisturizer on because i took off the um face mask and it's like mixing with the primer oh god this is such, this is such a first world problem so sorry i'm also shouting because i've got earphones in <laughs> i'm gonna do the concealer hack and do this before i do my foundation and like let this dry okay my face is also quite red because it's very hot all right cute <laughs> Never thought anxiety would change me But everything that goes up must come down And every time I think I got it made, I drown I wish that it were different now But that's how it's gotta be, so let it rain on me And now we're gonna take out these rollers. Oh, I feel like these aren't gonna be nice. Nonetheless, we shall see. Ooh. These things hurt too. Like, oh, I feel like it's gonna be. We're gonna have some very curly curls. It's literally like taking Velcro out of your hair though. I honestly just wanna be out of this room. Feels nice. Feels nice and bouncer. Okay, these are the big bad boys. Mm, I can't see it. And now the one that's probably gonna be. <laughs> okay. Ooh, the front's nice. Oh my god, I look like my mum. My fringe looks really nice. I'm gonna brush her out with fingers. 
My fringe looks phenomenal. Let me have a look at the back. Oh, it looks nice. I feel like when this falls, that'll look really pretty. I feel like it's got lots of volume at the top. That was a pain in the ass to do though, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, I definitely used too many like tight rolls at the front. Like a half up, half down could be really cute though. I'm just gonna leave it for now and come back to it and see what I wanna do. But I'm very happy with my fringe. I'm just gonna spray it. Okay, this is the final outfit. I kind of wish I didn't do my makeup so dark, but I don't think it's too bad. And I actually really like the hair. And this is the dress. It is from White Fox. And I'm also gonna wear these white shoes. And then my jewelry is a mix match of different things, but I need to get on the road. So I will probably see you tomorrow, I think. I look great, wow. Good morning, happy Monday. It is 7.18 a.m. right now. I've obviously just woken up because I look fabulous. I'm just about to drive home from my boyfriend's house. I had a really nice weekend. Actually wasn't too hungover on Sunday, which is nice. I feel like Sundays, no matter what, even if you are perfectly fine, they're always like a little bit slower. Oh my god, my eyes are so red. <laughs> I'm gonna go get a coffee because clearly I need one. Oh my god, I look like this. Oh no, these types of pimples, arguably the most painful. The ones are on your lip line. Oh, why do they hurt so much? Which I'm also thinking about getting my lips touched up again because the last time I got them done was right before Christmas, I'm pretty sure. Which I always say I feel like I get them done a little bit more than once a year. Um, this is probably the longest I've gone without getting them touched up, but we'll see. I also feel like getting my lips tattooed could be cool. Oh, I need to go. Someone's about to exit out of their garage. I drops in. All right, coffee time. I've had a few people comment saying that these look enormous on my stories or whatever it may be. I don't know if it's just the perception. The capacity of these is 400 mils. So it's like a very standard mug size. I think because it's obviously a lot taller, it's deceiving in that it, it might look really big, but I promise it's, it's not that big. It's just like a very standard size mug. <laughs> And the set comes with two straws as well, by the way. 